Hi guys, it's Prime Morris here uh, with a quick instructional video on how to install the Builder's Companion mod. First things first, we need to install the Enshrouded Mod Loader. It's going to be on Brabble's GitHub. The link will be in the description on the mod page. So I'm already on this page here. Um, you want to go to the Build Release Binaries here and click the Most Recent Workflow, which will be this one here with the fixed index and max value. Next, you'll want to download the dinput8.dll release. So either click this or over here and download that. It shouldn't take very long. It's not a very large file. Um, your Windows antivirus may be tripped up by it, so you may have to allow it. Otherwise, Windows will remove it. Uh, so we will open it up. And then I already have a folder open with some other information. So I'm going to go in here, uh, same place as, as I was before. Uh, you want to control C copy it or drag it over to your Windows installation. This is going to be in your C drive, your program files, 86 bit, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then in shrouded. Uh, if you have it installed elsewhere, um, you should know where that installation directory is. So I'm going to go ahead and control V there. And then I'm also going to create a folder here. Just going to name it mods. Okay. Next, I'm going to run and shroud it. Just going to run it and go to the menu and then uh, exit out. As you can, may have may not have seen there, uh, I did see some files uh, move down. Uh, a .cache folder should have been created. I already have a level one cr character created. Um, I'm going to back out there, uh, refresh this, and we do have our .cache there. It's going to be uh, two JSON files and then a Lua folder with some other uh, Lua information, that's for uh, references from the game. So if you want to develop mods on your own, go right ahead. Um, so back to the actual mods here. We had this mods folder that we created. Um, I'm going to grab my builder's utilities. This would be exactly what is included in the downloads. And we're just going to paste that in there. Uh, included in there is the Lua Arc uh, JSON, uh, the mod JSON, and a readme. Uh, this folder just has the na ID name, the version, as capabilities, uh, dependencies, authors, and that sort of stuff. I'm going to close that out. Uh, and then the source folder is just the mod itself. So I'm going to go ahead and open up and shroud it. Let the logos go through. And then I just created this recently, so we'll have to watch the intro clip real quick. All right, we can skip. Uh, just as you can see, we are still in a very basic, you know, fresh character. So nothing crazy going on here. Uh, the Enshrouded Bond Loader is very new. It is in uh, its very early stages. Um, hopefully this will bring some kind of uh, eyes to the mod loader um, and we can get some more developers on here to learn stuff. Uh, it, all mods are made with Lua. Uh, if you're familiar with that language or you have experience writing mods on other games with Lua, awesome. Uh, as you can see, we already have the Dragon's Map. Uh, I guess that's just a basic one that we can find. I'm going to quickly run over here and see if I can't trigger it to give us some more stuff. There we go. All right. So we got the Flame Monster built. Let's go ahead and build one. Um, as you can see, we have all, both the antidotes that are required from quests. So they're not something that you can just, you know, grab immediately. So what we to build here, apparently. Um, I don't think I can jump down there. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, but I think I kind of showed off that uh, you do have the build already. Um, all the recipes unlocked. Uh, some of these are from, you know, stuff in later parts of the game uh, that you wouldn't necessarily have access to from the get go here. Uh, as stated in the mod itself, all recipes are unlocked. Everything costs zero. Um, I am working on adding more features. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and toss them my way. Uh, and anyways, uh, thank you guys. Have a great day.